so honored today to host the GSA and the US EPA here at Electronic Recyclers International in Denver, Colorado. At our facility here, it's one of the fastest growing facilities to recycle electronics in the United States. And the GSA and the EPA are here to talk about President Obama's e-stewards program, the program where he's now going to be banning federal e-waste from the landfills across the United States in conjunction with his e-waste task force recommendations, keep it above ground and it's only going to be recycled by certified recyclers like ERI. And remember, Electronic Recyclers International is the only dual certified R2 and E-Steward certified recycler in the world. So we're really excited about President Obama, the E-Waste Task Force, GSA, and US EPA working together on a private and public partnership with companies like Electronic Recyclers International. And together, we can not only change the environment, but we can change the world. We're purchasing about $85 billion of electronics annually, and $14 billion of that is in IT equipment. So the federal government really has a huge partnership with organizations like ERI and, of course, our partnership with EPA. Uh, we go through, we believe, 10,000 computers a week. Uh, this summer, GSA was very honored to join the White House and EPA in signing on to the National Strategy for Electronics Stewardship. And our work means that we have a cradle-to-grave operation on how we handle the electronics and really more importantly, how we recycle through certified electronic recycling companies like ERI. I'm going to get in line. Uh with lots of other Americans to buy uh, one of 500 million pieces of electronics that we consume every year. And I'm going to do my best to avoid becoming one of the Americans that creates that 2.5 million tons of waste every year uh, by endorsing the sorts of work that ERI does. Uh, it's uh, tremendously important environmentally, as Sue pointed out. Um, it is the best kind of mining we can do, the lowest impact mining we can do, but a great reason for doing this. Um, we can create jobs, we can create good jobs, for all kinds of people, um, long-term permanent jobs, recycling, uh, reusing, and replacing our electronics. So this is my iPad <laughs> 2, and I'm showing and I'm showing this for a, a reason, not as a commercial for Apple, but here is a piece of aluminum that comes out of the processes. Everything that we recycle, all of your electronics that come into our facilities go out as commodities, and there's samples of the commodities along the wall uh, there, and you'll see them all. It's plastics glass, clean glass, which we clean on a proprietary basis, and the metals, and the metals are steel, copper, gold, silver, and aluminum. We're so excited because this is still a business in its infancy. When we started, we only recycled 10,000 pounds approximately our first month of business. Last month, we recycled almost 15 million pounds of electronic waste with partners like Alcoa that own a part of ERI and LS Nico Copper. We can continue to grow our locations in the United States and around the world. We're so proud to be located, to have our headquarters in Fresno, California. Electronic Recycles International, which started in Fresno in, in 2004, has now grown to be the largest electronic waste recycling company with eight locations in seven states across the United States. But ERI was born in Fresno, California, and is going to always stay in California, in Fresno. It's going to stay our headquarters, and it's never going to change. We started with four employees the first day and now we've got over 500 employees across the United States with over 200 of them being in Fresno, California. We are proud to be born in the Central Valley of California and we're staying there for the rest of our life.